Now that we've looked at our speakers and the topics in the first half of the course, let's take a look at the second half of the course. Module 5 is all about writing. Leila will discuss various artificial intelligence applications for language learning. Let's meet Leila. Hello, my name is Leila Karatay and I am from Turkey. In Turkey, I taught a variety of courses including English for Specific Purposes, Academic Listening and Speaking Skills, and English 101 for both K-12 and college students. As you can imagine, we will also introduce you to various applications you can use to write in this module. Let's meet Agata, who will showcase different word processing applications that can assist in the writing process. Hi everyone, I'm Agata Guskaroska, and I'm currently a PhD candidate in Applied Linguistics and Technology at Iowa State University. We're now moving on to Module 6, where we talk about listening, which is a very exciting topic. And students often love to learn more about listening. Ren will present tools for listening activities such as the ESL Lab, ESL Lounge, and many things. Let's meet Ren. Hi, my name is Ren Bowman, and I'm a PhD student in Applied Linguistics and Technology here at Iowa State University. I grew up not far away in Des Moines, and I'm here to research writing processes and literature, and especially literature in second languages. Many of your learners are no doubt interested in listening to songs. Max will introduce you to YouTube and SoundHound for incorporating songs into your lesson. Let's meet Max. Hi, my name is Max Prakashikov. I'm from Russia and I'm a graduate student in Tesla Applied Linguistics at Iowa State University. My main research interest is English for specific purposes. I'm really happy that we have so many wonderful demonstrations in this course. Reza, will share a complete sample listening lesson plan using TEDEd. Here's Reza. Hi, everyone. My name is Reza Neris, and I'm from Iran. I am a PhD candidate at Iowa State University, and I'm studying applied linguistics and technology. I've been teaching English for the past 18 years at different levels, including general English proficiency and academic English proficiency. I'm interested in language assessment in general, but I'm specifically interested in oral communication and assessment of this ability. Finally, in Module 7, we're tackling speaking. Our experts will share a variety of tools for learning pronunciation. Burak will demonstrate Voice of America, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and Google Translate. No doubt, many of you often wonder about the correct pronunciation of English words. You will find the demonstration of youglish.com for learning pronunciation. And we have found an excellent person to help you with that, Yasin Karatay. You'll see Yasin several times in this course. Let's meet Yasin again. Hello, everyone. My name is Yasin Karatay, and I am an English language teacher and researcher in the field of English for specific purposes. Throughout my teaching career, I've taught several academic reading and writing courses and various ESP courses such as English for Tourism, English for Medicine, and Technical English for Computer Engineering, both in Turkey and US. Last but not least, Mehdi will demonstrate and discuss using Zoom collaboration for pronunciation practice. Greetings from Iowa. My name is Mehdi Durs. I'm a doctoral student at Iowa State University, and I focus my research around pronunciation in second language acquisition. I'm also a teacher with experience in business, speech communication, and English as a second language. I look forward to sharing and working with you all. We hope these video demonstrations, useful technology tools, and reading materials provide you with valuable insights into the wide range of educational technology resources available for English language teaching. Stay tuned and enjoy the course.